J. Prince Senior. No, no, I didn't say you sent me no email. I just decided to pay you a visit. It is beautiful outside. I say, man, it, hold on, what's that? You got something running down your face. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Man, you been putting that Beijing 59 on your hair again, ain't you? Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, man, golly, hold on. It's, it's steady running. Hold on, man. Where you been? You been jogging. Golly. <laughs> man, you need to stop using that Jermaine Jackson shoe polish on your head. I say, so that's how you get your hair that black. You use that Jermaine, because you know Jermaine Jackson look like he got shoe polish on the side of his head. It looked like Crisco cooking all them and slapped on his head. And he rub it in like that. Man, you need to... Man, listen to me. I, I know you like to be camera ready and you like to be camera short, but there it go running again. Man, can you... I'm looking at it right now. Hey man, it's so much. It's all on. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I got light headed. <laughs> man, if you don't stop putting. <laughs> Stop putting that Jermaine Jackson on your head, boy. <laughs> I know you're trying to be camera ready. <coughs> but I'm telling you right now. <laughs> that you, Man, look, just look at this. Man, just look at all this stuff. <laughs> man, just look at that. And you <laughs> and you walk around. With that stuff just running down your forehead like that. <laughs> you told him to put it on extra thick. <laughs> yeah, he definitely did that. But I think he put it on too thick. <laughs> you say why well, I'm laughing? Because it's funny. Because <laughs> it's funny. That's why I'm laughing. <sighs> right, right, right. Man, this is what I want to pull up on you and ask you about. Man, why is you making Quavo check in again? You think I don't know you making that boy check in again? <clears throat> Listen, see, I ain't like everybody else. I can see through it. See, I can walk through the rain without getting wet. Yeah, I ain't like everybody else. What I'm talking about. Didn't they just subpoena Quavo to come to court? So he got to come back to Houston, right? You think that I don't know that's your way of letting him know that he still got to check in? He still got to check in. You think that I don't realize... That you had something to do with that. And hey, and this is the cold part about it. You don't put him in a position where he got to come in and say that y'all ain't had nothing to do that. When you want on a... Go ahead. I was just going to say that. When you went on a million dollar worth of game and you said, once the big homie come out and say what happened... All this will be clear. See, you made sure. See, that boy, you is slick. You might got all that black stuff in your head. 
And I'm going to tell you one thing. Boy, you don't pull one over everybody's eyes, but you didn't pull it over mine. That's your form, and that's your way of letting him know that you still can touch him at any given time. You letting him know that he can't be touched by the mob. Now, I know what you're doing. And see, you think you didn't, see, I done figured you out. Your mind manipulation game that you play, they don't fly on me, J. Prince Senior. You got that boy checking in. After that boy done checked in, lost his nephew. He's sitting on his line, going to the host game, sitting across from his cousin. Come on, man, you done made this boy check in through the courts. You think you slick, but I give it to you. You smart, but you ain't slicker than me. You gonna make this boy check in by coming to court. See, now you just said something, boy. I promise you, you just said something. You said ain't nobody that come across them Houston lines in your jurisdiction ain't nobody above your laws. Mm, mm, mm. And you know what? I'm starting to really believe that in Houston, Texas, ain't nobody above your laws. That's why I say y'all better stay in Houston, Texas with that. See, y'all can do all that down in Houston, Texas. Allegedly, you got, come on, man, everybody know you got that boy on your payroll. I can't, I don't want, man, okay, the chief. Yeah, you got the chief on your payroll, Troy Fittner. Allegedly. Why would I say those acquisitions? Because it's not an acquisition, it's a fact. Yeah, you try to make a hypothesis, but these are real theories that I'm telling you about. It. These are theoretic thoughts that are coming up out of my head. Yeah, my subliminal conscious. Now that what you don't understand, I comprehend everything you say. Oh, you a dirty dog. Golly. You just sat here in my face and told me that y'all are going to get away from what y'all you are going to get away with it. That's what you telling me in my face. And you say, that's not a bold face lie. That's the truth. So you done already. Boy, 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 I wonder what God going to do to you. When they get you at them gates and you knock at them gates and you look over, you peep over and you can't get in. Your money can't get you into heaven. Your power can't get you into heaven. You can't get on your yacht and sail your way into heaven. Let me tell you something about God. He said hi, he looked low, and he don't look down on you. And I'm telling you right now. You are a no good, dirty, good for nothing, rotten dog. The way you done made this boy check in. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Quavo, but I know he going through some things. But for you to make this boy check in like that, it say a lot about your character. Well, what it tells me is that you run Houston, Texas. I thought the police and the FBI and the shit, I thought they was bigger than the streets. Yeah, I see now I had it wrong. I see now I had it wrong. I had it absolutely wrong. I honestly thought, go ahead, man, go on talk. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, okay, okay. You talking in circles. <laughs> hey, man, sometimes I forget you 58 years old and you done got yourself wrapped up in this young man's game messing with your son. And sometimes I still believe that you don't get it. 
Yeah, sometimes I don't believe that you don't get it, but I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something right now before I go and you listen to me real good, Jay Prince Sr. I'll be glad when the day comes. When you land in your bed and take off, come down for heaven and he whoop your motherfucking ass. Yeah, that's what I mean and that's why I said it. And I put that on everything. I'll be glad when the day come, boy, we take off, take off on you. Because it's just a matter of time before you get what's coming. I still... Still can't believe you sit here in my face and you telling me that you making this boy. This is your way of letting him know he still got to check in. And this your way of letting him know why he in Houston, Texas. He still going to need your protection. Yeah, y'all got this boy thinking he really needs y'all. <laughs> you say, who else he going to Who else he going to call? Man, that's cold. That's a dirty game you done played, man. I, st I, I mean, I'm, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around it. You done done something I ain't never seen nobody do. You done made this boy check in through the courts. I thought you said that checking in thing was just a myth that wasn't true. <laughs> you had to say that on camera. Sometime, <laughs> sometime the police be watching your videos. And, no, they watch your... <laughs> but you always interrupting me, man. Go ahead. Asking me a question, I'm trying to. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. You right. You right. You absolutely right. No, I I I, I gotta agree with you on that one. Yeah, it it do. It, it's kind of looking like. It kind of looking like that y'all y'all might get away with this man, and it breaks my heart. It it oh my god, it ate me up on the inside to think that y'all oh that that this boy lost his life for nothing, for nothing. Listen to what I'm saying. Take off, lost his life for nothing. What do I think y'all? Do I think y'all more powerful now? You you got a lot of nerves. Boy, I promise you. Let me let you know something right now. If you were locked up with Quavers, I tell him to put it up in your gooch. <laughs> I tell him to put it in your gooch. Then what's it? Put what in your gooch? Yeah, you know what I tell him. I tell him to put it in your gooch and let it just sit there and marinate. And when you start screaming and hollering, I tell him to take your head and push it down in the pillar and make you bite into that pillar. As soon as you bite into that pillar and all of a sudden. <laughs> you know what it is. Now, man, I'm not trying to hear it. I'm about through talking to you right now. God, man, hold on, man. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me, let me get this off you, man. Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> man, look. Look at this. Man, <laughs> you got 
gotta stay away. Look at that, man. Tell Jermaine Jackson, whatever he put on your forehead is killing you, man. It's killing you. Wow, you say, why I'm worried about <laughs> But you know how hard it is for me to have a conversation with you and you got that Beijing 159 running down your face. <laughs> look like it, yeah, it looked like you've been in Niagara Falls, boy. Rain just coming down your face. And ain't they ain't never seen no black rain before. But I'ma tell you one thing. I'm, I'm finna get on up out of here. I just want to come talk to you because man, I just it just blew my mind. I want to tell you something right now, Jay Prince Senior. I pray to God. I mean, I mean this. I pray to God that you fix whatever you need to fix because you are lukewarm. God can't use you. Even though you are no good, rotten, dirty dog, I still want to see you into the. I want to see you go to heaven. Yeah, I want to see you go to heaven because when you get to heaven, <laughs> I'm going to tell God to let you and take off, get a one-on-one -on -one match. Yeah, and I promise you he going to whoop your ass.